All right, everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Today, I'm just going to go over what the tools in your tool belt are used for. So let's just jump right in. So obviously, you got your two screwdrivers here, and that's just going to be for screwing in your flat screws and your Phillips screws. And then you move on to your strippers, which are for cutting your wire, stripping your wire. Also, you can cut your screws with it. Um, and that's pretty much it. Strippers are for stripping and for working with the screws on uh, plugs and switches and stuff like that. <clears throat> and then moving on, we got our diagonal cutters right here with the angled head. And the angled head is basically for grabbing and helping to grab and pull and remove staples. And then the teeth right here are just for uh, basically cutting. They don't really grab anything. So basically you can cut your string, your wire, um, and you can also cut like nails and stuff like that, screws. Um, so more of just a cutting tool right there. <clears throat> Before I forget, you got your tape measure. This is simply just to measure things and get things um, where they need to be and as accurate as possible. And then we got our um, channel locks over here and these are the cobra ones and this is mainly just for grabbing things um, you can why i have two, two of these and why most people carry two of these is one is for grabbing and holding and one is for grabbing and twisting so hold one in one place and then you rotate it like that um, this is mainly i use these a lot for like um cutting like holding and cutting pipe or uh twisting or removing um lock nuts and stuff like that um, tons of different applications here. Um, so moving on from there, we got our <clears throat> 11 in one, and this is just basically so you don't have to carry uh, one screwdriver of everything. Um, so I got my square drive right here, which is mainly what I use it for. And then, like I mentioned in another video, I just added in the uh, hex tips right here. So I don't have to carry around another Allen set or anything like that. Um, I mean, I usually do carry around the Allen set, but um, these are the smaller sizes, so I don't have to carry around more screwdrivers for those. Um, temporarily, I just have in my linemen's while I'm at home. I never carry these, um, but these are for basically cutting um, and twisting. For twisting, if you pre-twist, you can do that. Um, I may, The only reason I mainly use linemen's is for um, the baling wire, um, basically when you're doing um, concrete decks and stuff like that, to grab the baling wire, twist it, tighten it into place, and then cutting it. Um, but you can also cut nails with this. Um, there's different variations of these where you can use it as a fish tape puller, as a crimper. Um, there's tons of different options there. And moving on, we got our jab saw right here. And this is basically just for cutting holes in sheetrock that's already finished um, or mounted on the wall. Um, so you can basically put your boxes on the wall, um, cut a hand hole or something like that to work around. Then you got your mini stubby right here, which is basically, I like to use these for can lights, uh, which is just get to get into tight places. Um, you have your tips right there, and then you also have a, a baby nut driver. Um, so that's really, really helpful um, when you need that. And then once again, I just have another diagonal cutter and just this old beat up one to keep my other one nice. Then you got your level here, just to make sure things are level. And you can also use this for bending pipe. Um, put this on your pipe and then you can bend it up to say 30 degrees. Actually, that's backwards. Bend it up to 30 degrees and then it'll, the bubble will go level. Um, and then you can also bend it up to 45 and it'll go level. And then, of course, you got your 90 degree angle right there. Um, and that's, although that will tell you when it is straight at that degrees. Um, and then I got my new folding utility knife and that's basically just to uh, cut stuff like plastic, um, open things up. And then you got your needle nose pliers, and I like to use these sometimes for um, knockouts and boxes to remove knockouts, but also you can uh, basically, I these are specifically for cutted boxes to uh, fold over and uh, pinch the battleships when you are doing cut-in boxes. Um, I'm sure there's probably some more uses for these, but that's basically all that I use them for. Um, also, you can use these um, if you are uh, doing rigid pipe. You can also use these to pull out the metal scrap pieces of metal when it's threading. Um, that's the other use that I used it for. And you got your voltage tester right here. Um, not 100%, not 100%, but gives you an idea if something is hot or not. Obviously, don't trust this with your life, but this will tell you if 
circuit's hot or on. Um, if a plug is hot, you can stick this into a plug. Also, you can touch a wire um, and then like an extension cord or something like that. It'll tell you if there's power running through it. And then our last few on this side, got a flashlight. Obviously that brightens it up. Um, and then you got your all right here, which is basically just to punch something on metal. You have your metal surface right here and you can punch this down and that has this um, little spring in there and then it'll make a little dent in the metal. So when you're using your drill bit that it won't move around and start walking around and you can drill it right where you want it to. Like I said, the flashlight and you got your quad ratchet here, which is just four different um, sizes on one, which is really handy. Um, and it gets into tight spaces. And you got your little screwdriver right here um, for low voltage. And that is just to get into the little baby screws, um, the small sizes for um, uh, fire alarm panels and stuff like that, or whatever else that you're using this for, for small screws. And then you got your pencil right there. Moving on to the other side, um, you got your beater screwdrivers. Well, this one's my beater screwdriver, which is I used to hammer it on. Basically just a throwaway screwdriver to um, either use it as a chisel, nail it, and or hit it into wood to hold your tool belt. Um, just tons of different things that you can use this for. Use it for prying. Um, and then I have another brand new one right here, the same screwdriver, and this is basically just to keep in good condition and then use it for the bigger screws on uh, set screws and stuff like that for a bigger pipe. Like I think it's like two and a half to four inch EMT, stuff like that. Um, and then you got your multi socket right here, um, your multi socket nut driver. And this is just all, an all in one um, flip socket for um, different sizes of um, nuts. I got a file right here just to um, file things down and make them smooth, remove rough edges, uh, basically just for when you cut a bigger pipe like EMT, like like I said, like uh, one, and a, one and a quarter or one and a half all the way up to four inch um, or whatever you need to remove a rough edge. Got your plug tester right here. This is to make sure that uh, once you turn the power on in a building after wiring it and completing it, that everything is wired correctly and uh, everything is done right so everything works and doesn't blow up. Um, basically for testing your receptacles right here, make sure they're done correctly. Safety glasses, protect your eyes. That's pretty much it, straightforward on that one. And then you got your hammer right here, which is for hammering nails, removing nails, um, opening things up, breaking things, destroying things. Um, yeah, removing nails off the ceiling of a parking garage, which is all these little divots right there is really helpful. Um, you can also use the back end over here for uh, kind of like a rubber mallet, pushing wires into boxes. Um, and that's pretty much on that. Then you obviously have your Sharpies and pens, and that's just for marking things on walls, on wood studs, um, taking notes. Um, and then lastly, we have our uh, I usually have headphones in here as well, but <clears throat> Let's, lastly we have our gloves and that's just to protect your hands. Make sure you don't get any cuts and stuff like that next in your hands. Keep them safe. Um, and also, like, if you're working around insulation, it helps so you don't have to have insulation in your hands for days afterwards. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it. Hopefully this gave you some insight on what all these tools are used for. Um, Anyways, thanks so much for watching. God bless. Have an awesome rest of your day. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Help the channel out. I'll see you guys back in the next video. All right, guys. Peace out.